Hello, and welcome to this short video showing you how easy it is to automatically assign PLC tags for information being communicated to and from the Simicode Motor Management System. My name is John Burns, an application consultant for the Electrical Products Group here at Siemens. And again, we're going to use our TIA portal software to easily automatically assign PLC tags that are assigned to data coming to and from the Simicode system. So let's go into the portal software now and show you just how easy that is. So here we are in the portal software where I've already configured a project to show how easy it is to configure tags for the Simicode system into a PLC automation system automatically. So if I come in here to project view, you'll see in this project, I've already got multiple Simicodes configured and they're connected back to this single PLC system. Now the information that's coming to and from Simicode, you know, to the PLC system is defined within the Simicode configuration. And the way we look at that is if I go into say the parameter page for pump one, under outputs and under cyclic send data, this is where we assign the actual information that say is coming from Simicode back up to the PLC system. And it's a series of two bytes of individual uh, status bits and several analog values. And it's all been configured here in my cyclic send data window. So how do I change or add that as specific tags into the PLC system is what we're going to show you next. So if I go in and look at the actual PLC tags that are currently configured, you'll see there's nothing in my list when I do show all tags. So if I come back to my devices and networks page, and if I go look at, uh, say, a, in particular, a Simicode here, and if I go to the properties page, you'll see here, if I come down here to IO addresses, this is where we assign what IO uh, data areas have been assigned for that information coming up from the Simicode. And again, uh, coming from Simicode up to the PLC is 20 bytes of data. For this particular Simicode, it starts at byte 0 and ends at byte 19. And here's where we actually do the automatic generation. So by simply checking this box at this point under the I.O. field, we have now gone ahead and created those tags. So if I come over here to the PLC tags, you'll see now tags have been added to my list and they're specifically for that Simicode system. And so what we do is, uh, since the Simicode was called pump1, the name of the tag starts out with the name of the Simicode and then finishes with the specific uh, data point that was in that cyclic send data. So just that quick, by checking that box, we can now assign PLC tags to that specific Simicode uh, information. And if we do that for the remaining Simicodes, we can do that as well. So if I come back up here to network technology, topology, and go to Simicode number pump two, and if I check that box, and if I come over here to pump three, and check that box, not only do we have tags now for pumps one, but now we have the same type of tags for the pump two system and the same tags have now been automatically assigned for pump three. So just that quickly by checking that box when we had the connection as established between the PLC and the Simicode, we've been able to assign those tags very quickly into our tag table. So that concludes our video. Once again, my name is John Burns, an application consultant for the Electrical Products Group here at Siemens. If you'd like to learn more information about Simicode or any of the control products, please visit us at www.usa.siemens.com backslash controls. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.